Breaking, state of emergency declared for first time in history over WHO just showed up and it's bad. For a governor of any state to declare a state of emergency and mobilize the National Guard, it's typically in response to a natural disaster. While Floridians are accustomed to that protocol with all of the recent hurricanes, they received horrifying news overnight from Governor Rick Scott who was forced to take this extreme action over who, not what, is showing up in the state any day now. This is a first in history to declare such a need for assistance based on what these individuals plan to inflict on innocent people. When you're a human but are so dangerous that you have to be treated like a Category 5 hurricane, there's something seriously wrong. The problem starts with the fact that liberals have chosen to ignore these people for too long, but the danger is clear and present whether they choose to acknowledge the issue or not. Governor Scott isn't playing this political rhetoric game as he's more concerned with citizen safety no matter who is offended and in this case, has every right to be. At the urging of President Donald Trump, it was no accident that the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI have officially decided to classify the hard-left Antifa group what they are, terrorists. These domestic terrorists are now expected to take over Florida having stepped up their plan of destruction and power after learning of an event that is set to take place. Since they don't agree with other people's use of their First Amendment right, they will impose they will in the most horrific way possible. For this reason, Scott knew it was necessary to pull out all the stops in addition to deploying an actual army of police officers to defend the venue from what's certain to be complete chaos. When Antifa found out that white nationalist Richard Spencer was coming to Florida for a paid speaking engagement, they decided that they needed to meet him there and bring hell with them. USA Today reports. Alachua County Sheriff Sadie Darnell had asked Scott to declare the emergency as the university prepares for Spencer's visit. The governor's executive order places the state agency usually responsible for hurricanes at the front of the effort to preserve order during the event. It also places the Florida National Guard on standby. Anti-fascist groups, known as Antifa, plan to protest the white nationalist event. Both sides have talked on social media about using violence. I find that the threat of a potential emergency is imminent and hereby declare a state of emergency in Alachua County, Scott wrote in an executive order he signed on Monday. While the massive response and preparation for the speech was criticized for being overkill Scott defended his decision by pointing out what liberals seem to consistently miss. We live in a country where everyone has the right to voice their opinion, however, we have zero tolerance for violence, and public safety is always our number one priority, Scott said. This executive order is an additional step to ensure that the